Okay, so I wanted to do a short video on setting up a lap timer on a budget. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm quite new to track riding, but I want to be able to track my progress, uh, see how fast I'm going. Caveat, I realise not all tracks allow lap timing. But for the ones that do, rather than go out and spending 500 quid on an actual dedicated lap timer, I wonder if there was any way to do it without spending more than, say, 100 quid using stuff that you might already have lying around. So this video is all about setting that up with the added bonus of also looking at integrating a, a budget action cam into the mix to get some uh, cool overlaid data videos to show off on YouTube. So the first thing you'll need is a lap timing app. I'm using Race Chrono. Uh, I really like it. There's a free version or there's the pro paid for version. It's about 17, 18 pounds with a few more bells and whistles. Also has a very cool functionality, which is the ability to overlay the data you record onto the app, onto video. So I'm gonna be using a cheap Campac X30 action camera to see what results I can get with spending as little money as possible. Um, we're gonna be mounting it to the bike, not lovely and safe inside a car but hopefully it should work uh, and we can get some really cool videos out of it and some interesting data. So you will need a mobile phone to record the lap data with whatever lap timing app you're gonna use, something to attach it to the bike. So I'm just using this cheap Chinese RAM mount copy. This one's quite good though, because it comes with these nice elasticated bits that acts as a tether should the phone come loose of the holder something to attach it to the bike. So we're gonna be bolting this to the fairings. Uh, it's got a flush base, so it should give us a nice solid mounting point. Just a couple of M6 fairing bolts through, they'll do the job nicely. The refresh rate on mobile phones GPS isn't great. So to get a decent level of accuracy, accuracy you will need a external Bluetooth GPS receiver. So I just bought this Garmin Glow off eBay for 60 quid, I think it was, uh, works perfectly. And then if we wanna be really flash, we can start mucking around with putting video overlays, taking the data off the lap timing app and overlaying it onto video. For that, I'm not gonna go and spend loads of money on a GPS enabled GoPro 8, because we've got the GPS on the phone, so I've just bought this Campac X30, shoots in 4K, gets good reviews, it'll do the job, 52 quid off eBay. Okay, so we're dealing with lap timers, so we're gonna be working on my Yamaha R6 track bike. Uh, the benefit of this is that we can drill through the fairings, so we're gonna put two bolts on this side up here, so just M6 fairing bolts. They'll sit nice and flush with the fairings, so they're gonna come up from under here and be tucked out of the way. So we wanna start with the whole unit assembled together. Offer it in, get it nice and positioned where you want it. Okay, so we're just mocking up where we want it to be. Give your steering a nice move, make sure there's nothing obstructing the steering at all. And then it's difficult to mark it up. So what you want to do, once you've got that positioned inside, draw around the edge. And then we'll take this off and then allows us to put that back around the edge that we've drawn and then we can mark the holes. Okay, so we've taken the ball mount off the assembled unit. We've offered it up in here. We can see where we've drawn around the outside. That's given us the guide to put it. And then we can simply get our pen and mark off the two holes which we've already done, resulting in this sort of crudely drawn pair of boobs. So we just need to run the two bolts up through here and clamp it all together. So we've got the ball mount in place and we're just gonna put these uh, nylon thread lock bolts on so nothing comes loose. So we just wanna snug them up. Okay, so we've got the ram mount installed now, as you can see. The benefit to having the ball system on the ram mount is that we can actually position it really tucked in behind all the fairings, etc, etc. So it's really out of the way, giving us loads of room, so it's not going to interfere with anything. So if I just push the bars forwards here, you'll see what I mean. We've got a ton of room in there. And still a decent display for when we're hooning it around. So we need to mount our GPS Bluetooth receiver. So this is, like I said, Garmin Glow. I got this off eBay uh, for 60 pounds. And we're gonna have it mounted just there inside the fairings. So some people I know just use double-sided sticky tape with some Velcro, so that's what we've got on here. But I'm also gonna put in um, a quick-release 
a zip tie just as a tether, just for peace of mind. So if you haven't seen these, these are brilliant. They're a zip tie, but you have a little trigger here so you can do them up and undo them as many times as you like. So again, we're just gonna make two little pilot holes here and here for the zip tie. Run it through there and there. That's gonna give us our tether. I'm gonna try and get the zip tie around the narrowest part because it is actually beneficial that it's this hourglass shape. And there we go. The final thing to do is just simply mount your cameras uh, because then we can get the data from the phone and overlay it on the video. So you can use, the I've got a TomTom -tom Bandit which actually does record GPS but won't talk to that. So I'm gonna mount a Chinese, uh, I think it's called a Cam Park C30X or something like that. I'll put a link in the, in the description. And that's just gonna be mounted here because then I can just get MP4 formatted data video straight into the app, which is Waze Chrono, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, we can have some fun editing some nice video overlays. So before anyone has a go at me, I know UK tracks or UK track days typically don't allow you to do lap timing. So what I've done here, same as if you're using a GoPro, I'm just using the GPS data recorded by the phone and then overlaying it onto the video once I get home. So the phone itself is locked so you can't see anything, but it stayed in place, super secure. Uh, it worked perfectly as a setup. It's just a bit of fun. I've only done a handful of track days. I'm definitely not the fastest by any stretch of the imagination. So for me, it's just, uh, it's just enjoyable to look at the data back. If you want some more information on this, then head over to Dan at Life at Lean. He's done a great article on using budget lap timers. It explains the other apps that are available. Like I said, I'm just using Race Chrono for this one and you can get an idea of what functionality that gives you. Uh, I'll put a link to his website in the description below. Some really useful information if you're getting into track riding uh, from Dan as well. So I recommend checking that out. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll get some uh, footage later in the year when I hopefully head over to Europe. Uh, where we can use it in anger and actually get some live lap timing done. But in the meantime, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Please like it if you have, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.